Okay, I'm going to try and knock this one out quick. I got a 2016 Chevy Equinox 2.4 four-cylinder. Uh, it's been dieseling, so when they cut it off, it stays running, stumbles a little bit, then dies. And a code PO172 rich condition. High pressure fuel pump. I guess runs off the cam and has the internal seal that leaks into the, the crankcase. And you get fuel into the crankcase, which vaporizes, goes to the PCV valve, into the intake. Just kind of keeps the engine running after a little bit and also makes the vehicle run with a rich condition. You can smell gasoline, smell gasoline in the fuel, in the oil. So I'm gonna try to set up my camera. We know it's right here. Got to get down to it and bleed off the fuel pressure and get this changed out and then change the oil. And here we go. Disconnect the negative battery cable, 10 millimeter. Okay, we'll take off this top intake plenum. Uh, we have a 5 16th hose clamp. It's kind of hard to see down here. 5 16 hose clamp on the throttle body and PCV hose right here. That'll pop off. Two clips in the back. Click on right there because they just pop off. Move your wool cap. Okay, I'm gonna unplug. Let's remove this wire limb clip. Remove that clip. What I had to do, pop that up, pull this out so I don't lose it. Set the other side. A 10 millimeter bolt on the bottom side there, and two on the side. One right there, one right there. 10 millimeter nut on the bottom, two on the side. Oh, my. Well, that is Nanny's car. He's yeah. just working on it. Another clip down here on the bottom. There. Okay, this cover comes off. Unless there's another clip hidden. There's another clip hidden. All the way down. All the way down at the bottom, there's two. Okay, that clips out. There's a metal bracket. Foam cover. And there's our fuel pump. Okay, I'm trying to hurry. I got a big storm coming in. Take that rag right there. It's got a lot of pressure. We're going to try to bleed it off. It hadn't been ran in a while, so. That was it. Pressure's off the system. Put that cap back on. That around that. Okay, camera. Hang on a second. There we go. Push the hose up on there. Okay, and the hose should slide backwards. Not much gas came out. Oh, 17 millimeter.
Had a small amount of fuel in it. Okay, that's loose. Two 10 millimeter bolts. Put both onto the uh, valve cover here. Not very tight. I'm not sure if the torque switch is on these. Second screw. Little black washer on the second screw. Oh, I think it's the fuel hose there. It's coming. Gasket. Oh yeah, it smells like gasoline real bad. So it must be a seal down inside that shaft underneath that spring that sprung that is leaking, leaking fuel into the crankcase. Let's clean it up and get the new one on. I don't have a whole lot of time. parts we got genuine fuel parts fuel pump EP 1028 this is the one from Amazon for 150 it says GM genuine all over it I don't, I don't know. one two six eighteen forty seven looks like what we took off I'm gonna grease that o-ring a little bit and we'll put it on so also they recommended online that you replace the fuel hose sorry fuel hose a little stainless fuel line on the bottom Oop, it's starting to rain I'm gonna try to hurry here we go 17 millimeter on this bottom hose. Now why they recommend that this be changed, I don't know. I don't really have any scars or anything on it, but I guess it's high pressure. So, I'll change it out. Leave it loose, that way we can turn it. Okay. Move up your O-ring some oil. Hose has got a good fit to it. I was worried some of them pre made hoses don't fit with the crap. That one fit good. Don't have my torque wrench, but we'll give it a, two pumps and a wiggle. There we go. Right. 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 That one goes back on. Yeah. Nice. Quick. That's all done. Phone. That was it? That was it. Well, I'll change the 
change that oil filter while we're here. filter that with the old clean up the outside just lift up on that edge remove the old o-ring New o ring. Put some clean wool on it. New o ring back on here. New filter. Click it in. I got ahead of myself. Started to do this and I put that little filter on. Uh, I need two of them. Two of them are trash. Oh, no leaks. 